Hello again you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. For a, a bit of an update video guys anyway. It's a super retro arcade video again guys. That beautiful machine by uh, Retro Bit. You see it's grabbing it? There we are. And it's all about that SD card again guys. Yep. That little baby there. In this case a 32 giga. But it really doesn't matter guys, as I said before, uh, it could be a 4 gig, 8 gig, 16 gig, whatever you choose. Apparently it goes up well past 200 gig guys that you can put in here. So yeah, the world is your oyster as they say. Um, but yes guys, obviously you know how much I love this. I love it to death guys, it's one of the best things I've picked up in a long time. Probably, uh, you know, second only to my gorgeous Evercade guys. But yeah, what a fantastic blinking thing. This is for 59.99 British pounds. Oh my word. It's already fantastic just out of the box guys with the 90 stellar bloody titles on there. And I've shown some of them already and they are doozies and a half. Gorgeous bloody games on here. But of course with that SD card guys, you can add more games to this beautiful thing. Let's be quite frank, you put some ROMs on. Now, in the video before this, the part one in a way if you like, um, I showed you the very, very simple procedure of what you've got to do with your SD card to get those games on there, didn't I? Now, uh, I said in that one that uh, we did NES and SNES, didn't we? We took a look at those, but I also told you that there's probably a lot more systems that you can do. And uh, I wasn't wrong, guys. I wasn't wrong at all. So uh, Josh is going to jump on this one with me when we get to the next bit of this video. And I'm going to show you, or he's going to show you and me, exactly what machines work. And uh, a few that should work that don't, unfortunately. Which might be down to the whole it's not in the American model, guys. Uh, I think it is, and I know, please, if you can comment below, I know Pete will probably uh, comment. You, you know who you are, Pete. Fantastic guy from the uh, the Evercade actual uh, fan club group, the unofficial fan club group on uh, Facebook, guys. He knows a lot about this machine, and he might be able to put me straight here in the comments. Um, because, uh, yeah, he knows a lot more about it than I do. Um, so yeah, uh, in a later video we may well put the American OS on this machine. I might bite the bullet and do that to see if it makes a difference. But there's a hell of a lot of machines here that are working already guys. And Josh and myself are going to sort of like lead you through that. What you can achieve already to make this thing fantastic. And guys, you know what the best bit is? You're not tinkering with the machine at all. You are not hacking the machine. You're doing absolutely jack to the machine. So it doesn't void your warranty. It's all done on the SD card, guys. It doesn't touch the machine at all. These emulators are built into the machine already. They're there. So it's just utilising what's already in the machine. So you're not doing anything to your machine. You will not void the warranty if you suddenly break something on it and want to take it back. That's fine, just pop the SD card out and it's exactly as it's meant to be. You'll see that as we go along, guys. So, yes, will you join me, guys, as we take this little baby? And I'll show you what machines do run on it. Mm, what little beauties of systems can you get away with playing on this thing? Well, I hope you want to join me and find out because it's, oh, it's a gorgeous machine and this is going to get more and more gorgeous as we go along, isn't it? So, yes. Join me and Josh in a sec, guys. Right, here we go, you lovely people. As we show you, different systems that will actually run on the Super Retro Care, guys. Obviously, we already took a look at NES and SNES. But now we're going to show you more NES and SNES and some other systems as well. And also a couple of pitfalls, guys. Um, I do believe one of the pitfalls is the whole problem with it being a European model and not the American model. But uh, I'm going to let Josh take over now. 
because he's going to run you through it because he sorted out these other systems, didn't you, Josh? Yeah. Yep, yeah, so here we go, guys. He also knows um, what emulators it is that this thing is running in a way. I mean, I don't know if you can name them all, can you? But um, mm. you certainly know what some of them are called, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so obviously, guys, here we are on the normal menu. So to get to the uh, added games you're putting on the SD card, you must insert the SD card. Now you'll come up with this little menu here, like I showed you before, with the Android. Now, I just want to uh, get one thing out of the, <laughs> out of the bag, if you like, already. Um, because a very good friend of mine said, oh, he thought if you look at the bottom of the screen here, that there's a, a back press B button. And when you press that, guys, nothing happens. As you can see so yeah unfortunately yeah you still can't get back into the normal menu you will have to uh, turn the machine off and take the SD card out or at least release the SD card so yeah there's no way of getting back guys not that we've found yet so sorry Todd that didn't work it was a worth worth a try though right so here we go Josh what are we at here uh, the games are on the SD card and I can uh, name the emulators uh, NES is uh, FCEUX, I think that's how you say it. Uh, SNES is SNES 9X. Um, Game Boy is uh, MGBA. Uh, Game Boy Color is MGBA. Uh, Game Boy Advance, there's two emulators on the console. Uh, one is VBA Next, which is like a specific only Game Boy Advance emulator, but it runs really slow apparently. But you can also use MGBA, uh, which does uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and DS, but it can't do DS because uh, the actual console doesn't have enough uh, RAM, I think, or something like that. Uh, so it can't run DS, but it can do Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. But you have to change the ROMs, don't you, into the form? Oh yeah, you have to change the extension for Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance to .gb, otherwise for Game Boy Advance it will default to the slow emulator. Yeah, so all you have to do, guys, is make it think that it's a, a Game Boy game is it yeah, yeah. game boy rom game boy rom and then you're good to go with the game boy advance games and then for all of the sega consoles it uses uh genesis plus gx uh so yeah that's all right so now you know what emulators it's using on here and the last one oh you've got one more of course yeah pc engine yeah pc it? engine yeah. um that's uh genesis gx uh yeah. pc engine is i don't know how to pronounce it but i'll spell it out m-e-d-n-a-f-e-n Super graphics. Right, okie dokie. So there you go guys, I mean there's some fantastic systems there. Oh yeah, and the uh, arcade uses main. Oh, arcade uses main, of course it does, yeah. So obviously by adding an SD card to your little system, and uh, obviously making the folder that I showed you in the previous video, you can then drop these games on. But we are going to cover the pitfalls as well guys. Mm -hmm. um, but first of all, Josh can carry on now and show you the first one, which is NES, I do believe. Yeah, Super yeah. Mario Bros. Obviously you've seen there's working already, but here we go again, with an absolute classic. And you can see it is running just right, guys. That is not too fast, is it, Josh? Mm, no, that's good. Yep. Uh, perfect, normal speeds. Yep. So that is fantastic there. You can put your uh, Nintendo love on here, eh? Right? Yeah. yeah. Now obviously, guys, we own all these games. We're not being naughty. They're all in the collection, I can assure you. And as you probably know from watching previous videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it works fine. Yeah, absolutely fine, yeah. So that's fantastic. So yeah, we'll go back into that menu, guys. The one I showed you before is exactly the same menu as you do with the built-in games. Yep. No, SNES. No, you're going on to SNES. Mario World. Sounds is the sound is good. I yep. say. Sounds is fine. Yeah. What is that weight for this one? Isn't it? Mm, yeah. <laughs> that weight has wound me up since the beginning. Mm -hmm. Got to get the yellow switch. Yeah. 
Also, for the NES, only A and B works. Like, if you're playing Mario, you can't use X and Y to run, but in this game, all the controls work fine. Oh, that's brilliant. So I can do my spins and that, yeah. and whatever. But of course, you yeah, have got button mapping on here, guys, so you can probably get around that one mm, if you wanted probably. to. Yeah. Because B is to jump, A is to spin, and yeah. button and stuff. And the button mapping does work on the emulators as well. Absolutely fine. Mm. I just find it incredible that they've got the emulators on here in the first place. It's almost like they're asking you to do this, isn't it? Mm. I think some of the arcade ROMs probably use these emulators. Yeah. Although, I don't know why they had two Game Boy Advance emulators. No, like, one of them specifically much. for Game Boy Advance. Yep, just just show you, doesn't it? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. there's mm. some questions. Very questionable, uh, yes. Having them on there. Mm. Almost like they're saying, hey, if you buy this console now and you get 90 fantastic games, but we allow you to do this as well. Yeah. Go away. As you can see, guys, this is running like a treat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I missed the ball. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. No, Game Boy. Game Boy, yeah, here we go, guys. Game Boy, and it is the original Game Boy. For this one, you can only use A and B, I think. Again, yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, only A and B, yeah. I think. Do you want to try and button map it while we're Oh, I know. Um, uh, X oh. is turbo. Oh, X is oh. turbo. Good. In this one, we oh. X and Y is turbo. That's quite cool. See? Yeah. I was going to say A and B for a Game Boy game would be right anyway, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's good that you can use turbo. It's good to that shooters and that. Yeah, because the built-in games, that seriously needs turbo. And there is no way of using it. Not that I've found yet. Hmm. You're button mashing all the time. You know, it would come in handy to, to have turbo. Mm. So it's fantastic you can use it here. Yeah, so. Yeah, brilliant. Might as well do the first level maybe at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yep, that is running absolutely fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color, here we go guys, with Shanty. Mm, who hasn't been good at this game? Oh, I love this game. I love her hair flicking. <laughs> yeah, fantastic that you can have Game Boy Color games, guys. There's mm. such a lot of classic ones, you know, they really is like the Game Boy. Oh, I don't need to pause. What? What's a little oh, pirate? Just pause again, trying to skip the dialogue. <laughs> yeah. That was easily done. Mm. There she goes, a little minx. Go on, flicky hair. Yeah, that's it. It's like she's headbanging. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bit, of, bit of Metallica going. Yeah, go on. It doesn't start off easy, does it? Do you know what I mean? It goes mm. straight into, like, if you start running, you actually run the risk of getting hit more. Yeah. And what you're doing now, we're taking your time, is better. Yeah. But yeah, again guys, it's running like a dream. Because I know that um, a lot of other YouTubers have said how the Game Boy uh, adv Advanced games particularly don't run very well. But I think it's a lot to do with, um, you know, are you, are you using the right emulator or not? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because I only tried Sonic Advance 2, but that was running fine from yeah. what I got into. That's it, yeah, and apparently on the... You know, if, if you were uh, not to uh, be sneaky and use um, the Game Boy emulator on here, um, the sound breaks, uh, some of the games don't load and what have you, but sometimes yeah. it's just a little just a little walk around to get these things running. I mean, these Game Boy Color games are certainly running absolutely fine, and that's on a Game Boy emulator, isn't it? Mm. 
Yeah. Alright, let's do Game Boy Advance now, so I can advance here. Yeah. So this will show you guys that Game Boy. See, look, it's even doing yeah. the cool effect at the start properly with the yeah. water. See, this is really showing you that the Game Boy Advance games can run on here. Mm. This is one of my favourite Sonic games mm. and Game Boy Advance games. Graphic beats, fantastic. Yeah. I like all the Sonic Advance games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I certainly can't hear any problems with the sound at the moment. No. At all. But of course, you know, you might come across some ROMs that, that do run badly. You know, we're only testing one ROM here, so. Yeah, one ROM per console. Yeah, one ROM per console. I do notice there's a little bit of a delay, but apparently that's on all the emulators. Yeah. Like in the sound. Like, listen, when I pick up the ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very, very minor, isn't it? Mm. Nothing really. Yeah. Get around. Apparently, if you like keep restarting the game a couple of times, sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse. Yeah. That's just what I've heard. And apparently, it's for, like I said, all of the consoles. Yeah, you can live with that. I mean, it's, it doesn't seem to be affecting the gameplay for sure. Mm, yeah, that that seems to be full speed. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I messed that up. Yeah, I can't fault that. That's brilliant. Mm. Oh my god, this 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 system is just getting better and better that you can do this as well with it. I mean fifty nine ninety nine guys, this console costume is already fantastic just out of the box. Mm. And then to add this to it as well, brilliant. The one thing I will mention before Josh carries on here is um, we haven't done anything with the artwork yet. Now, I have been told by a very, very reliable source that if you actually get the uh, the artwork in what format was it again, Josh? PMG. PMG. PNG. Oh, yeah, PNG. <laughs> oh, dear me, there's just no hope. The PNG. Yeah and uh, name it exactly the same as the uh, the game or the ROM, then it should work. Well, right? I heard you have to name it exactly the same and put the word game at the end. Oh, I'll put the word game at the end. See, this is where the other YouTubers might be going wrong because they didn't mention that at all, guys. They didn't mention about putting game at the end. Because I heard you have to name like, if you have Mario for the NES, then you'd have to name it Mario Game. Right, so okay, okay. That's so I heard. maybe that's what's going wrong. So obviously... You know, we may do another video yet where we have the artwork on there and see whether it works out or not. But uh, to be quite honest, we just ran out of time today, so yeah. yeah. Now for the Genesis, I have two ROMs. I have the original Sonic the Hedgehog, and I have Sonic and Knuckles plus Sonic the Hedgehog 3, since uh -huh. that game had the lock-on cartridge, so I know some emulators like can struggle with it and that. Like on the DS, uh, you have to yeah. use a special version of an emulator that doesn't have sound to play the this game. Right. But Sonic the Hedgehog works fine with sound on the DS, so yeah. I know that some emulators mess it up, and that's why I wanted to test both. Yeah, so this is obviously just your box standard Genesis Mega Drive ROM, um, and that's going to work absolutely 100%, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot you can't spin dash. Yeah, you can spin dash on this one. Yeah. I have a, a modded version of the ROM on my computer that lets me spin dash. Does that? Quite useful. To yeah. And then you get so used to it with Sonic, don't you? Spin yeah. dash. Since it's in like basically yeah. every game except the first. Yeah. There's a nice little thing that they added to the uh, Sonic franchise. Mm, very nice. Oh, that's playing beautifully again. Mm -hmm. Sound is absolutely spot on. Wait, let's see if there's a delay. Yeah, there's a delay again. Oh, slight delay, yeah. Nothing to. It's more or less in the sound effects because the music's fine, isn't it? Yeah. The stuff that like doesn't need to be spot on sounds fine. Yeah. And the stuff that is spot on, like collecting those and that, there's yeah. a delay, but you can, delay. For the price. You can, yeah, you yeah. can do with that kind of yeah. Another bonus here. Yeah. When this game seems to be fine. Yeah. I'm not very good at it. What you've got to bear in mind, guys, is for fifty nine ninety nine, you get that fantastic console with all those uh, 90 oh. brilliant games built in. I mean, that's worth the 50, 90, 59 dollars already. 
Um, so to add all this to it, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're needing to go out and buy the most bog standard emulator machine from China. You're going to be paying about 30 quid, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And that's going to play it a hell of a lot worse than this, I can assure you. No, it's like uh, Knuckles plus Sonic the Hedgehog 3. My second favourite Sonic game after... Wait, no, because I said Sonic Advance 2 was my favourite. Yeah. I have lots of favourite Sonic games. I like Sonic yeah. Mania, Sonic Advance, Sonic with Three Knuckles. So this is the one that uh, Josh was saying about how a lot of the emulators can't handle this because it has the lock-in. A lot of the old ones where you can put the two cartridges together to make a yeah. full game. That's it, yeah. And it doesn't, you know, they very, very often don't handle it very well. So mm -hmm. this is testament to this little machine that it can do this. Yeah, like my example on the DS, when you have that modded, uh, it uses a special version of the emulator that doesn't have sound to run the game. There's a delay again I heard in the spin dash. Yeah. Yeah, that other end there. Oh yeah, slight yeah. delay. Slight yeah. delay, yeah. But again you can live with it. To have the, the joy of playing this on here. Yeah. Who cares about that little delay? I mean, I know some people are probably driving bonkers, but uh yeah. It's probably so fussy. I can't I'll do the bonus, why not? Let's see how it runs. Mm. Okay. Seems a little slow, but I'm not sure if that's just how the game runs. Yeah, not well made. But it's still very playable. Oh yeah, very playable. Yeah, that, that is awesome. Mm. Alright, I can't be bothered to do this anymore. Yeah. Let's hit a red ball. Mm. Yeah, that, that works good. Yeah, fantastic. Now I'm going to get to the fire part, where it all goes up in flames, see how that runs. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. Mm. Sonic Mania, Sonic Advance series in this game are some of the best Sonic games. Yep. Even though I'm bad at them. I'm bad at every game too, right? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's fat. That's, that's good. Yeah. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's really wow. Okay. Now it's trapped underwater. There it is. Oh god. Because I know on some emulators as well, uh, that underwater bit can be a bit, like, buggy. Yeah. Like on uh, one emulator I have, uh, the water doesn't show at all, and on another it only really? shows once you get to, like, a certain depth. But on this it seems to be good. The depth on that is all fine. Yeah. See? He leaves when he when it's actually reaches the top. Yeah, it runs really fantastic. Yeah. Of course guys, if this is whetting your appetite for one of these little machines, you've got to get in there quick because I know they are selling out everywhere. Mm. Um you can still pick them up at Argos and uh, Smith's Toys. <sighs> But I don't suppose you will be for much longer as we're getting closer and closer to Christmas, guys, so mm. get in there quick. Yeah. Alright, let's beat the guy up. So we're going to try out, I think it's Hydro City Zone next. Oh, yeah. And after that, we'll go to the next guy. Okay, easy. Brilliant. Oh wait, I forgot about Act 2, can't be bothered to do this. Next game. Right, let's go on to the next thing then. Yeah, what have we got next? Second so Tales for the Game Gear, I think. Right, here we go guys, Game Gear. Well, did you have to, you have to rename this or anything, or was it just running uh, straight away? No, just I had to put the GG extension, which was already there. Yeah, that's good. So there you go guys. <laughs> game Gear as well, how fantastic. Mm. Because I tell you what, the Game Gear's got a fantastic library. It's so sorely overlooked because everybody just talks about the machine all the time itself rather than the fantastic library it had. 
Mm. I've also know if you can spin dash in this game. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can in this one. Yeah. I haven't played the game gear too much, so. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. Ooh, that was a little bit laggy when I lost the ring. No, it's just one ring. I suppose it's the game gear. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag. Yeah. But it's playable. It's not here, isn't it? Because of the small screen size, it's yeah. hard to see when there's an enemy It's going to be in front of you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was short, 40 seconds, and I've never played this game or I have once or twice. And I don't know if you know this or not, guys, but the uh, music to this game, this version for the Game Gear, was done by the same guy who did Streets of Rage and everything. Hmm. And um, although it's billed as just Sonic the Hedgehog, it actually has loads of extra levels and things for the Game Gear. So it's a fantastic title. Now PC Engine a magical chain. Right, here we go guys. PC Engine. Wow. And of course one of the most expensive games on the PC Engine. Mm. This is a fantastic cute and mock guys. Fantastic. Yeah. Actually one of my favourites. It is rock bloody hard though. Mm, I played harder. Yeah, well, you say that at this part, I'll tell you what, it gets bloody mental. Yeah. Yes. yeah, for a first level, I've played a hell of a lot harder. <laughs> and only recently as well, like on mm. the, rec the Super Retro Kid itself, on the actual built in games. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there. I'm not really sure what the blue stuff does, I don't remember. No. Oh, I think it's sure. money for the shop later. Yeah. This game's good. This is a fantastic game. Really, I love it. Yeah. Every kind of magical chase game. I did a video on magical chase games in general. Um, obviously, you can have a look at that in the library, guys. Um, I love them all. I know people didn't like some of the later ones, but I think they're all fantastic. Yeah, well, still quite a lot of money. Yeah. Get this one. Uh, hmm. I'll get there. So I'm not sure what this does. But all right. Oh, I have a little thing in the corner now. I can't go over there. Uh, yeah. Oh, speed. Sure, I'll get it. Why not? I don't know what he's saying. Three hundred. There we go. I did it. I think. Makes it. Yeah. Yeah, look at that now, I can shoot way better. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's the cube guys. I think it's horrible, that cube. Mm -hmm. That's a box, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, I lost two of my HP. That's what I love about this game, though. The weird, the weird enemies. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be so simple, it looks like a little kid's game, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, not even so much help. It's a bad. Oh, he's gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Music's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Also, I noticed on the actual menu where you choose the games, they seem to be ordered by when I added them to the oh, SD really? card. Ah, right, so it goes by that order rather than alphabetical or whatever. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. Yeah. Because whenever I would remove a ROM to put a different one on, yeah. it would always put it at the end of the list. Yeah. So it really runs, is it? Oldest to newest thing. Yeah. Which yeah. is odd, odd as well in itself, because usually when you add stuff like that, it shows that you Shows the newest stuff first, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't even know for HP. Uh, I'm just going to exit. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so what else have we got then? Yeah, Alright. Cast of Illusion, the Master System one. Right, this is where one of the pitfalls comes, guys. Mm -hmm. Now, 
this might again be a European thing, I don't know, because a lot of people on the internet, Josh said, have mentioned nothing critical about the mass system at all running on here. So it's possible that this is a European model fault again. Mm -hmm. But we have tried numerous linking mass system games on here, and they all have a fault. And different file extensions. Different file extensions, even pretending that it was a Mega Drive game, all that crap. Mm -hmm. We've done it. Whatever, yeah. Yeah, you've done it, haven't you? Whatever. To possibly try and get a mass system to run properly. But we're going to show you an example here of yeah. what a mass system game looks like on here. To just show you that at the very least on the European model, this is all you're going to get, guys. Mm. They do run. It's not very good. But yeah, to say they're unplayable would be an understatement. Unless you like shadow puppets, I don't think you're going to enjoy this. Mm. And you tried it with Alex the Kid in Miracle World, didn't you? Yeah, and he was uh, just like a silhouette as well. Yeah, like just a silhouette, things. yeah. It's like there's just all the graphics are missing, really. And guys. another thing, I can only use up, down, left, right, and A. None yeah. of the other buttons seem to do anything. Oh, right, yeah. Even so start doesn't yeah. seem to do that. Uh, even yeah. start doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah. So as you can see guys, yeah, to say it's not worth playing, yeah, but yeah, it does run, <laughs> just very poorly. I'll see if I can make it run normally, so, like, yeah. later on. Yeah, we'll have another go at it guys, and if we get any improvement on it, then obviously another video will be coming of it. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, very hard yeah, to not very good is it, no, mm -hmm. oh dear. So yeah, there you go guys, there's a pitfall. And now... The biggest pitfall of all, guys. Now, when they talk about, you know, it's harder to do things on the European model, and you know, there even some some people are claiming that you can't do certain things on the European model. This is one of the things I think they're on about, and that is arcade games, guys. We've added ones that I've seen other YouTubers putting on and playing absolutely fine, guys, like Marvel vs. Capcom. Mm -hmm. You put that on Josh, didn't you? Yeah. And it was the exact same file that would have been on what is an American YouTuber's site, on his, uh, sorry, in his video. Um, and it just won't have it on here, guys. Mm -hmm. So we put on another one, which is um, Killer, Instinct. Killer Instinct. And the same problem happens again, guys. So just watch what happens when we click into it. That is your lot, guys. You cannot get any further. It will not boot. Sometimes it does a different animation. Yeah. That's it. Like sometimes yeah. the file select screen will go upwards instead of flashing. Yeah. Now, before everybody starts shouting, hey, you're using the wrong, wrong main packs or anything like that, no, it is the exact right main. 0.136U1, I think it was. Yeah, that is meant to run on here. I do strongly believe that this is down to it being a European model. Mm. So in a future video, there may well be a, a, an OS swap on this little machine, and then we'll see what happens after that. But for now, we can't add any arcade games, and I, I can only put that down to it being the European model, guys, um, because everybody else I've seen do it, and it runs like a dream straight away. There's been an American video an american channel so yeah i can only imagine that's what it's down to guys so yeah i mean that brings us to the end josh doesn't it yeah that is basically what you can do so at the end of the day guys and uh, by adding an sd card you do not have to hack the system whatsoever it does not void your warranty it does nothing to your system you are literally just creating a folder on an SD card. You're just putting your own ones onto the SD card and using the built-in emulators. Yeah, that's it. Exactly. So you're doing nothing to the system, guys. And it gives you the ability to play NES, SNES, Mega Drive, Game Gear, PC Engine. I won't include um, <laughs> Master System in that or Arcade. Mm. For obvious reasons, but... Just to be able to do that already, guys. And Game Boy Advance. Yeah, Game Boy Advance is the most impressive yeah. to me. Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy. You can play all those systems, guys. How fantastic is that? Mm -hmm. On a 59.99 little console, guys. It is fantastic. The machine is a doozy anyway. 
And then to add all this to it as well. Oh my god. Messes. Yeah, and I've got a 32 gig memory card in this, and I don't think we're ever going to fill it, to be fair, because, oh, they're tiny files. Mm. You can put, like, the whole flipping back catalogue of a system onto here. Just awesome, guys. Yeah, I you think know. the maximum size it said on the website I was using was like 256 gigabytes. Yeah, there you go. That shows you guys. If you have one of them in there, you literally have every flipping. Oh my word, you'd have every single one of those systems, wouldn't you? Anyway, yeah. that's for sure. Obviously, guys, this is a trial and error video again. Uh, if we find any other way around things, we will do another video and show you how to get around it. And if it comes to it in the end, we're looking to put in the, uh, the American OS on, North American OS, yeah. and see what goes from there. So there you go, guys. That is another what you can do with an SD card in your super retro kid video guys mm. and i think it's bloody worth doing guys yeah because you're not hacking your system so yeah anything happens to it afterwards it won't be because of this that's for flipping sure and yeah. you won't walk void your warranty everything, everything. you're doing is yeah. built right into the console yeah all you're doing is creating files on your sd card mm -hmm. yeah there we go guys yeah i'll uh, I'm going to be back with my final thoughts. Would you believe it? So there you go, guys. You've got NES, SNES, Game Boy Original, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Master System, Game, yeah, well, Master System, I'm saying Master System, oh, but you saw what it was like, guys, but that might be one of the American things, might not it? But then you've got Game Gear running like a dream as well. PC Engine running like a dream. And then, yeah, the two snags, guys. Obviously, Master System, it runs, but unless you're into puppet magic, um, yeah, it's not going to be a good experience, is it? But that could be down to the American thing. That it's just not, you know, okay, you know, if you put the American OS on, it might work, yeah? And then the biggest one, I have a theory, is the arcade games, guys. I mean, obviously, there's a ton of arcade games on this. That's the whole point of this system. Now, we followed exactly what some of our American counterparts on YouTube did, and they just will not boot, guys. They will not boot. I'm sure that Pete is going to keep me straight with a walkthrough on this and how to get them working. Um... I hope so, anyway. Um, because short of that, guys, we will put the American OS on and make another video. But isn't that gorgeous already that you can play those games, uh, game systems, guys? Isn't that fantastic? I mean, PC Engine, Game Gear, fantastic library of games there. SNES, NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Oh, my word, does this machine just get better and better? And I tell you what. It's emulating a lot of it better than some of the higher end flipping emulators you can buy. Oh, God. Like I said earlier, get yourself over to Argos, to Smith's Toys, eBay, Amazon, wherever, guys. Grab yourself one of these before Christmas, before they're sold out. At $59.99, guys, and the price of a SD card. You've got some bloody magic there. And I tell you what, you pay a hell of a lot more for that elsewhere. So yes, guys, another fantastic Super Retrocade video. That, oh, that fantastic machine by Retrobit. They really did, oh, completely and utterly make up for the generations, guys, the Retrobit generations. They totally and utterly made up for it. And apparently that wasn't as bad as some people make it out to be either, according to a very good friend of mine. Um, so yeah, I mean, I haven't got one of them. I want one to uh, kind of like do a versus. Um, but yeah, oh, I, I can't say enough about this little thing. I can't say enough about it. It's fantastic. Fan-bloody-tastic. And what can I say? I can only give you my honest opinion. And this makes it ten times bloody more fantastic, doesn't it? So there you go, guys. And with that, I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thumbs up. 
tap that bell icon and the all icon to get your notifications. And that's it, isn't it, really? Yeah, done and dusted. And I'm going to say, I'll feed us in. Cheers and goodbye, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.